Hi, Julie here. In this video, I am going to do a little bit of a look at Nick Collection Silver Effects Pro. Um, I recently did this amazing um, body sculpting shoot with dancer Alison King and what we wanted to do was really concentrate on high contrast, really picking up the highlights and the shadows and doing some body sculpting. So um, this was one of the, the earlier images that I did and I ran this through Silver FX Pro. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another one of the images in the series, which is this one. And I'm going to go through and show you what I did. So what I did was just a basic cleanup. I went through, removed a few blemishes. There was a few marks and things on the backdrop, um, which is actually like a, a velvet material. It was gorgeous. Um, just to give you a little bit, a bit of background, it was lit from here with just a single strip box. Um, and that was enough to create the catch lights in her eyes. But we were focusing on primarily on the lights and the shadows so this is where my image is up to now so okay so let's jump into silver effects so if i go up to filter and go to my nick collection and scroll down and i'm looking for silver effects um, you'll see all the other um, nick collection products there as well so just give it a second to open up Okay, so if you've never used um, Silver Effects or any of the other Nick products before, this is basically what it looks like. So this is our dashboard. So we have um, a whole heap of presets over here and we can scroll all the way down. You, They are split into different um, sections, so if you want to do that you can. You can also add your favourites and things like that. So just to give you an idea, you can come in, you can do a compare, so before and after. You've got a screen split, which is kind of handy. So if I do some changes here, you can see um, the difference. You can go um, before and after like that as well. I prefer the page, so I can push it off out of the way. Um, so you can fit, zoom, fill, um, you can increase the size and all the rest of it. You have a histogram over here, which obviously most of this will be in the dark um, and it is a black and white image. Um, Silver Effects Pro is for creating beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous black and white images. So I'm just going to jump over and have a little look at a few here. Now, what we can do when we come over to the right hand side is that we have a whole heap of editing sliders that we can use so um, the general ones that you would consider and these are all global adjustments your brightness highlights midtones, shadows um, I'm going to boost up some of my highlights um, and maybe even bring up some of my shadows just a bit You've got dynamic brightness, which I'm going to bring up quite a bit as well. Um, contrast, you've got, um, I want to amplify my whites a little bit, um, maybe even amplify my darks a touch. Um, so you can come through and you can play with your structure, your highlights and all the rest of it. So um, there's a lot that you could do with it. Um, what's really cool is using the control points so there's a couple of different ways that you can use the control points so if i pop it on her face what i want to do is you can either use your um, sliders here but it's easier to probably use it here oops i just put in a second one which i don't want for now i just want that first one so I want to place that on her face, 
maybe make it a little bit smaller because I don't really want it overly large um, I want to increase the brightness a touch I want to amplify my whites a touch just so that I can see a, little, a few more details in her face so if I go from before where it's quite flat to after it is quite strong um, there's a lot of other things that you can do with this um, you can take the grain off because um, I don't really want the grain on this image it's beautiful and sharp um, I can come and I can play with um, my curves and my levels I can also intensify things like the yellows um, I'm hoping you can see that maybe if I jump in a little more so um, skin tone is going to be primarily and you can move your little navigator window around so skin tones are going to be primarily in the yellows so if I boost the yellows and the reds um, you're going to get a little bit more highlight and definition um, there's probably not much in the greens and cyans although there may be some in the blues in the background so um, really playing around with all the different effects that you can get now this is just keeping it quite um, moody I haven't um, gone into any of the other details that I can do so I can put in different film types so if I really wanted to capture a particular type of film I can do that um, just by going into film types same again with color filters if I wanted to apply different color filters to my image for different effects I could do that as well um, you can also if you wish to with the control points you can add a line so if I was to jump over to fit if I grabbed my line and say I wanted to put more shadow or more highlight into a particular area I might just bring that down I can bring my luminance up my brightness up and it is affecting only on that side of it if I wanted to change that or I can spin this around so that I am picking up a slightly different slice of light see that's picking it up on that side which is what I really don't want so I'm going to bring my brightness down going to bring my contrast down a little further as well now you can build these up so if I want to add another control point I can put one here trying to spin it around so I want that to be just a slither coming through there so this is where we are before and after I probably find that there's too much light in that one so I'm going to turn that one off add that so there's uh, so much more that you can do um, with your images when you're bringing them into silver effects pro um, I could do some different um, toning I'm keeping it neutral 
but I can add in different colour. There's blue toners, cyanotype toners, coffee and more that I can add to it. So if you really, especially if you're doing a vintage look to your images, not just high contrast, you can really play around with it. Um, you can add um, vignettes to your images and edge burns, borders and things like that. Um, and of course you can play with how much you want to um, use those. You can save these as a preset so I'm going to go ahead and save this one um, because I do want to come back in and use it on other images in the series. The other thing that I can do which is really really cool that they've added in DxO if you haven't got the latest version of Nick collection then um, it really is worth grabbing it because you can now convert to smart filters so when I save that back into Photoshop and we'll just give it a second to load okay so we're back in Photoshop and you can see it's got Nick silver effects and it's got it's a smart filter applied so if I decided there was something here that I didn't like or if I wanted to alter or change I could just double click on this and it will open it back up into Nick um, and then I can continue editing on my image so um, that is really cool the other thing that I'm just going to cancel out of that um, you do need to realize that it will um, increase the size of your image by using smart filters so perhaps you could flatten it before you save it if you wanted to um, I could come through and continue cleaning up so I have noticed there's a few things on here that um, just need a little bit of a fix so I can come in and I can sometimes when you think you've got everything covered and you change the contrast on your image you will notice that there's a few things that you missed I could come and add a dodge and burn to this to really increase my highlights and my shadows uh, so that's it for a quick run through on silver effects Pro by DxO. Um, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, I will leave you with just a little behind the scenes snippet of um, my shoot with Alison in the studio. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.